side. <laughs> that will be an indictment oh, of the Celtics if yes, the it would. get to the Yes, finals. it would. But I'll be, listen, I'll be proud of the Knicks to get to the conference finals. I'll be proud of them to get to the conference finals. That's the reason. So, Brian. Look at that. Last week, it was, they might get to the conference, conference finals. Now they're talking about if they get all the way to the finals. The Knicks are a game out, right? A Let's go. Place. Now, we just lost to the Magic today. I'm okay, Day. It is it's all it is what it is. No brunt to know. So once he's healthy, that's you know, a, a better judge of character. But hey, Miles McBride looked good though. Backup point guard. We might not need a Brockton. We might not need a no well Brockton. But hey, I'm saying get to John T. Murray because OG Ananobi, bro, he only took eleven shots, bro. How how does no Brunson he, Randall struggling? And Ananobi takes 11 shots. We need somebody more aggressive. We need DeJounte Murray. He's not an engine, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I dropped a video about it, how why the Knicks should get DeJounte Murray. And I got a couple people talking about some, oh, like, that's a bad trade, this, this, and that. Man, y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about. I, I spent a whole bunch of minutes talking about why, and then people want to write three words. Man, get DeJounte Murray. We need somebody. We need somebody who plays defense. He plays. He's still playing good enough defense. He's still averaging a steal in half a game. Like he's not that old. Talking about oh, he doesn't play defense that that good anymore. He, he it's he's gonna play playing defense just fine. Playing with Tibbs, you're on a good defensive team. The Atlanta Hawks suck. Okay, you got Trey Young as your your main guy. He don't play no defense. No, he got he averages a good amount of steals with playing the passing lanes, but we know he don't play no defense. And People talking about all oh, the the matchup with Dejounte and Trey don't work. That's Trey Young's fault. Dejounte Murray is playing well. He's playing efficient. Uh, Trey Young is the one that's you know, shooting like forty two percent from the field, 36 percent from three, taking like 10 threes a game. He's the issue, not Dejounte Murray. Once we get him next to Brunson, that's gonna elevate this team. That's gonna ele elevate our defense. And in the playoffs, when we have a like, let's say we. Brunson's out, injured for a game or two, rolls an ankle, or, or Randall. Who are you going to get points from? It's not going to be Ananobi. He's not that aggressive. That's what the whole Raptors fan base was saying the whole time we traded him. It's like, oh, we needed more offense anyway. Now we got two guys. Now they got Quickly and Barrett. When we give up Quickly and Barrett, that's like, what, 25 shots a game and got back 11? We need somebody who's going to put the ball up some more. He needs to be more aggressive. He's not the guy. He's more of a 3 and D guy. We need DeJounte Murray in, in the building. All right. So that'll mean Quentin Grimes might be gone. That's fine with me, honestly. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to front. I like Quentin Grimes, but I want DeJounte. It's a tight Eastern Conference, particularly when we look at that top, that upper echelon here. Should they go all in on doing what Stephen A is asking for and attempting to add some star power to their core? Yes, they're going to try. And they may made a big step last week by doing the Ananobi deal. They, they, I think they viewed this as a two-step process. Well, it's more than two steps. They started when they got Jalen Brunson. That was a good first step. But I think they looked at, they look what they have to trade, all those draft picks they've collected. Okay, this is, you know, they focused on sort of the third spot. I mean, not to be offensive, but I think they see Ananobi as their third best player. Okay. Uh, they don't have maybe that one or two yet, but Jalen is going to be there. Oh, Ananobi, they see as that as an upgrade, and they paid for with quickly to do it, you know, upgrading in their view from R.J. Barrett to Ananobi, and now they're hunting for that one, two. And if you oh. look at what they've done, you look at what Leon Rose has done since he's taken over. He got Josh Hart. He got Dante DiVincenzo. He got Jalen Brunson. Now he's got OG Ananobi. They're working. I know it's not happening overnight, but look where they are. It's They're the moving face that, that Kendrick Perkins is making right now that it's telling me that the one <laughs> – I know you believe Jalen Brunson. Tell him, Perk. It's, it's, not even, it's not even about – Tell him, Perk, what you got to say. Get it off your chest, man. Hey, but we keep throwing out a star. Like, what star are you talking about? You're talking about a guy like Donovan Mitchell? Mm. That's not an upgrade from Jalen. Thank you. Bronson. I'm sorry. They're on the same. Uh, well, tell me uh, who the number two is. Because, uh, like, no, I'm not telling... saying. Hold on, Wendy. Hold on, Wendy. Keep a cool booty. What <laughs> I'm telling you is, is this. This is what I'm saying. We keep that. asking for a star. You... Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks is not moving the needle enough for them to say. <laughs> they, love, they like that cool booty. They like the cool booty comment. Oh, we're going to rank them above the Boston Celtics or the Milwaukee Bucks. 
What Stephen A and what everybody is asking for is a caliber player like a Giannis or a Joel Embiid or maybe a Steph Curry. And the You're thing about those players is not only does New York, as you know, Woe just pointed out on the show, the player has to ask out. I mean, you could have let the man finish. New but, York has yeah. to have the assets, which, you know, it does. And but she's spitting facts. She's spitting facts. To watch New York exactly. And, and speaking to that caliber, we did a lot of digging and we noticed that up until this current Knicks squad, Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, the Knicks haven't landed a star free agent since Amari Stoudemire in 09 10 uh, around that time. Point? All of their moves have come through trades. Right. And that feeds your point, Perk, saying that, hey, free agents just happen to not be going there apart from those currently on the squad we since keep... 2010. So I'm saying that you are correct. But no. if they're going to do something, it would have to go through a trade. Trade, and I agree with you. Maybe it doesn't have to be a superior to Jalen Brunson, but maybe it could be a great compliment. They, so, so what is, can somebody answer this? I, not 1A or 1B or I don't even want the multiple choice. What is Jalen Brunson? He's a star. Okay, let's talk. Okay, about he's a he's a star. So they did land a star let's in let's free go back agency. To your rookie. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, people love saying that you know New York don't don't be landing stars, but we do have a star. We just got Jalen Brunson. You know, they probably don't think of him as a star because they they didn't expect him to be one, but he's clearly a, a star. He's probably gonna be an all star this season, hopefully. And uh, we got Julius Randle in free agency. He wasn't a star at the time, but he grew into a two time all star. Might be a three time all star after the season. So I see what, point, what uh, Perk is saying, and he has a good point there. He has a really good point. I'm not going to lie. Even I was uh, somebody who would say something like that, but it's a good point. Your, year. Your rookie year, the Detroit Pistons were a very good team. They had a, a, a dog for a point guard who was Ch a star. Chauncey Billups. And they went and they got Rasheed Wallace. Okay. Now, is Rasheed Wallace better than Chauncey Billups? Maybe, maybe not. But what happened was when you added Rasheed to that. Compliment. You now have a you now have a team where Chauncey could be the one A. That's my compliment uh, so, point. So right now their best player is Jalen. Their second best player probably would everybody would agree is Julius. Julius yep. Their third best player OG. everybody would agree is OG. Yep. Now if you get a guy that you can put in there, and he fits nicely like Rasheed Wallace fit in <laughs> gloriously, then Jalen can be your best. Yeah, player. yeah, but but, but, you, but you have but to keep But that's that's high. not a fair comparison. You had Ben Wallace arguably the greatest undrafted player ever, right? We're talking about a defensive prowess. And so when I think about, just, okay, if you want to measure careers, look at Jake, look at... Uh, I'm saying uh, people wouldn't have looked at Chauncey and said, Chauncey is a 1A on championship. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. Then they got I, the I, I'll tell you this much. Right. Let's, let's end on this note. Jalen Bronson is a top 20 player in the league. I know that much. Oh, I was gonna he won A. Say, was he top 15? Uh, I'll take it, though. <laughs> All right. He's gone for at least 25 points in Tennessee. Brunson at 1A. All right. What is this? They're talking about some other stuff. I ain't talking about that. All right. So, yeah, man, we, we out here. ESPN changing their tune on the Knicks. You love to see it. You know, we, we'll we see how far they go. You know, only time will tell. You know, we got, we got a good squad, but I'm telling y'all. I want DeJounte Murray on the team. I need. Oh, we need him. We need a guy who can get buckets in the playoffs when it matters most. DeJounte Murray seems to be that guy. OG Ananobi, he's not aggressive enough. We need somebody else to, to produce shots in offense when it counts. And we got already got Brunson. He's 1A. DeJounte could be that second, third guy. And then we have OG Ananobi, Josh Hart. Dante DiVincenzo, shoot, if we keep Grimes, we got Grimes. We probably not going to keep it, no. You know, we got Isaiah Hartenstein, Mitchell Robinson. We could, we contenders. Anybody else, we're not contenders. If we get Malcolm Brogdon, we're not going to be contenders off of that. That puts Deuce McBride back on the bench. He's been playing well. I think he you know, deserves a, a chance to, to show some more. And if we need a, another bench piece, we could get somebody. You know, we could pick somebody up if he's not the guy. But get the John Tate Murray now. We could get another a backup point guard. That's easy. That's how I feel about it, man. Comment if you agree. If you don't, let me know. Keep it classy, though. You know what I'm saying? All your comments. Mm. Keep it classy. Just keep it classy. 
If you disagree, explain why. If you agree, explain why. You know, it don't got to be a whole paragraph. You know, just let me know a couple sentences, whatever. Just not no three words. You know, make it make sense. But uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Help me get to my next thousand subscribers ASAP. And you know, tune in next time. Appreciate y'all.